Time for the key moment of tonight's investigation. <laughs> Communicating with the dead. Using this simple voice-activated recording device, Lou asks questions and waits in silence before asking the next. But when he plays back the recording, Lou claims ghosts have answered his questions. When you start to see how this works, yeah. you'll be like, something's trying to communicate. Okay. It's, not, it's not just random static trying yeah. to form some kind of random pattern. That's what I mean, so you don't, you don't do it sometimes and it is just random. How strong it comes through and how clear it comes through yeah. I guess, you know, it's dependent upon the spirit or whatever it is that's, that's creating, you know, the voice when we do finally hear it. All right, here we go. Beginning of EVP number one at 3.53 a.m. Is there a spirit that is around us right now? Could you please tell me your name on this recorder? In the pauses between Lou's questions, spirits are hopefully giving their answers. Have you been bothering Judy since we last were here? Why do you keep bothering Judy? Have you been bothering Judy since I last was here? What was that? Huh? Dropped a coin, sorry. Okay. A dropped coin. Scratch My crew scratch. approving an unruly lot. I shall have words later. End of EVP. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play it back. Normally I wouldn't let her listen to these. And the reason why you wouldn't normally let a client listen to them? Because uh, it adds to their fear. Like <laughs> certain things trigger the spirit to come into somebody. And sometimes just by listening to the EVP of the spirit can trigger it. But anyway, we're gonna listen to it and uh, Let's we'll see if we hear anything. Beginning of EVP number one at 3.53 a.m. Is there a spirit that is around us right now? This is a first for me. I could be listening to the dead speak. For believers like Lou, these crackling electronic noises are ghosts answering his questions. Can you see everybody in this room right now? Okay. Just don't tell me what you think of it or anything like that. Mm. Just keep it to yourself for right now. I'd like to ask Judy what, how you how you're feeling because you can see you reacting to that and what. I mean, I don't hear it as that kind of a voice. I hear it more talking. But then again, like I said, I don't know how many are here or what's going on. But that's what freaks me. It's just I know, you know, what they can do. Okay. We're going down into the basement. Yeah, we're gonna go down the basement. And, and is this is this an area where where there has been particular trouble? Mm -hmm. This okay. is the area where a lot of those photographs were taken, and uh, it's where a lot of the sounds come from and things of that nature. Okay. All right, same thing. I'm just gonna take the recorder and I'm, uh, I'll put it right here. What is the name of the person sitting directly to my left? Again. Could you please tell me the name of the person sitting directly to my left right here? That was good. Beginning of EVP, Judy Johnson's house. What is the name of the person sitting directly to my left right here? Lou thinks he's heard something, something from the other side, actual words in the static. Hmm. Is this the physical proof of ghosts in Judy's house? Lou needs time to analyze it. Euphoric feeling, excellent, a feeling of love. Euphoria that just bursts across the front of your face. And each time this happens, it gets stronger. Each time it moves around, you can double it. Just keep it going, keep it going. Even as you stand up, it can get twice as, twice as strong. Just feel that, what's it like? <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> I feel drunk. Yeah. You having trouble standing? My legs. Your hands are sweating. I'm really thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> and your legs are just shaky. Just like I've had too many. <laughs> okay. Uh, have a seat. Keep it going. Keep it going. You know, every now and then, I'm going to show you a word that I've got written here. Okay. 